you the type of shopper who won't buy something if it's not on sale? Everyone loves a bargain, a good bargain, really. But retailers know that, so they've come up with some strategies to get you to spend more money while thinking you're getting a good deal. All right, so we're going to help you become a savvier shopper with the help of Mark Elwood. He's the author of Bargain Fever, How to Shop in a Discounted World. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Good morning okay, so, so here's the deal. You know, we've got to, these retailers have a bunch of strategies. You're going to help us fight them. Like, for example, and I've found this, you're shopping online. You see something, then you go to look for a comparison price, and then when you go back to the original place, the price has gone up. And so that is you, because you're telling them your intention. So the idea here is when you shop online, you want to be anonymous. It's yeah. the equivalent of putting on like a fake mustache and mm -hmm. big glasses. <laughs> you want to pretend you're someone else. So you can browse incognito on Chrome, for example. Don't tell them your habits, and that way they can't use any history to change the price. How do you do that? You, you use the incognito window in, on Chrome, okay. or you just make your settings so that the cookies aren't oh, red. So like oh. you disable cookies? Okay. Mm -hmm. Totally. Right. That makes sense. All right, next up, the tip on the floor design of the stores, and it has something to do when you turn right. So, left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. Right -handed. Okay, so we are vulnerable to this because 19 out of 20 people are right-handed, and the stores know that, so we turn right when we go into the store. Uh -huh. They put the stuff they want to sell right there. I'm trying to visualize the last store I was in. Yeah, like, yeah. Short circuit it, turn left, because that stuff... But what if they force you to go right? Oh, like, you can always go round. I mean, no, 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 seriously, I got a store yeah, I go to, it's, it, you, you have to go right. Ah. So what I would do is you go right, and then you go round the table that stops you, and ah. then you turn left. All oh, right. that's interesting. Now, okay. you tell me about Goldilocks pricing. So Goldilocks pricing is the idea of something that's just right. You'll see this a lot in electronics, for example. Like, think next, last time you went to a big electronics store, mm -hmm. you see a trio of TV laid out like that. It's cheap, medium price, most expensive. Which one do you think they want you to buy? The one in the middle. The middle. Exactly, because yeah. it's just right. The margins on that will be really high. Normally, the cheapest one will be very similar to the middle one. Ah, That's interesting. Right. And what about anchoring? What is that? Okay, so you know when you go into a store, if you think about like a shoe department, uh -huh. any shoe department, go in there and ask the most expensive pair of shoes that are there. And you'll find there'll be something crazy ridiculous price okay. that isn't That's intended. That's the shoe Cameron would buy. Oh, you buy. <laughs> you shouldn't buy that because I that don't. exists just to make everything else look cheaper because really? you've got a reference point. I've ah. wondered that because you do go in and you think, who buys this? You know, you look at the bottom of the And everything go, else seems seems yeah. reasonable. Yeah, if I one pair is 100 bucks and everything yeah. else is 20, 20 seems like a real bargain. All oh, right. Okay. okay. It used to be the time you wouldn't, I mean, a last resort would be getting floor models. But you say, you know, they're actually a pretty good deal. It's really simple. The product life cycle has shortened so much that floor models don't sit out for months and months and months. They sit out for a few weeks. So they're not as well handled. They're really quite in good condition. Mm -hmm. If you don't want a floor model, ask for a display model because that's been in the window. Right. It doesn't have a box anymore. Mm -hmm. You can probably leverage that little bit of haggling. Right, wheel and deal. And lastly, yeah. uh, pricing at outlet stores. What's the trick there? Oh, man. <laughs> do you like outlets? I do. Okay. So here's the thing. A lot of the tags and outlets will have two prices on them. It right. will say, compare at and our price. Mm -hmm. Compare at might as well be elephant cupcake. It doesn't mean <laughs> anything. anything. It's that anchor pricing trick. It's a higher price to make the lower one look better. And is it true yeah. at these places they, they make stuff specifically for the outlets? Between 60 and 70 percent of stuff at most outlets is made for the outlet. So it's cheap. Cheap, but it's not necessarily a bargain. You deceived. But you didn't know that? No. I knew about that. I knew that much. Just if you want to keep longer, that's why. <laughs> if you want to short circuit the outlet problem, look for original price on the tag. That's right. a legal definition. Mark L. A lot of great advice. That was fantastic. Coming up next, a good way to spend your money. Book a spring vacation. A